Here, and you particularly, there's a core application area, which is, I think, chapter 8 to 12, right? About application, about this one, right? because you have selected that one for your final project. Yeah? Can be finance, can be retail, can be sports, can be medical care, right? This can be applied to all this field. That give me an example on that, yeah? So read that one. The second one required is called Tableau. Yeah, anybody know Tableau? Anybody? Yeah? It's a data visualization course. You need to do study today after this course. Download this course, academic student version, free for you. Otherwise, you have to pay 1,000 Canadian dollars. I don't know if you pay that. <laughs> 1,000, okay, you know what? Good dinner. Yeah, 10 times. And uh, so we have to provide you academic credential. So that's why you do earlier. And you're maybe, some of you may have problems. Right? Because in you know, a week, uh, uh, week of five, we're going to do a seven three. Use this tool to do data visualization like that. Yeah? So that's why you can download right now. In case I'm probably, you can get help from the UCW technical support. Let me provide you, oh, I know she's our student. She's a student, yeah. not Professor Lee. <laughs> right? So let me prove. Yeah. OK, you get free access. Download it, yeah? So two mandatory uh, requirement resource, which is textbook, which is free for you, then you download the Tableau. And uh, let's do uh, some uh, uh, assignment. Uh, it's called uh, uh, brainstorm session, okay, simulation, and uh, so basically, assume you are the business analysis. You hire business analysis by Walmart, by Walmart, okay. <coughs> Pay attention. This is this is a fun exam for previous class. I'm not sure for you, yeah. Okay, for Walmart. You are BA. And uh, for Walmart, they have a big challenge during the last three years, COVID-19. Yeah? Some of the store closed, not the store closed, because people are afraid to go to there to buy. Yeah? They have to buy it from online. Without the customer, right? They have to close the store. And uh, there was a new Walmart, yeah? Have you visited Walmart? Have you? When did you visit Walmart? Lots of times. Lots of times. What's the last time you visited? Last time, last yeah. There was a Walmart, yeah? Two weeks back. Yeah, two weeks back, right? The big issue Walmart knew nothing about it. Yeah? For me, right? Every time I love to buy Spanish. Yeah? No, no, no. Anyway. Every time I take my family to my wife buy some clothes, my kids buy some toys, every time $300 spent. That should be the same as you buy $300 spending. Yeah? So that's a big issue, right? And uh, one of the business, you know, suffering from COVID 19, no customers have to close their store. Because they don't know nothing about customers. No information. Right? Now, you are hired by BA, by Walmart. Solve this problem. Okay? So you try to get more customers, Walmart customers, and retain some customers. So I want you guys, divide by a team, we have three ideas. How to acquire customers. Yeah? Get some idea. I want to divide you team to five people each, each of you, okay? Then you have get three ideas, okay? One, two, three, four, five, okay? You guys have this customer. One of you write them on your paper, okay? Can be team leader. One, two, three, four, five, okay? You are this group, okay, please. One, two, three, four, five, okay? One, two, three, four, 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 four,
Yeah. I want to be a... Maybe something will become important too, I know that. Okay? Then now, one, two, three, three, four, four. All we become final thing. Okay? So, you have uh, about 10 minutes to get some idea. Huh? You can do that within five minutes, then take five minutes break. Okay? Then we come back. Okay? Get some sweet idea. How to get a customer? How to retain a customer? Right? Remind them use data. Think about data. Focus on your customer, marketing part. Okay?
Same item you buy, you get 10% discount online. We deliver it to your phone for free. You guys are coming in all the time, right? Yeah? And uh, if you're all the customer, because they find, you know, search the database, see Professor Lee purchase, oh, you love spinach. Yeah? Every time you want spinach, we know that. Okay, we have too much spinach from California. There's a, there's a uh, store there that cuts spinach. So that's a promotion of spinach. 99 cents one box. Professor Lee, come, come, come. Go on. I got a message from there. Oh, family, go to there, speech. Yeah? They don't want to buy, 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 a lot of $500 to spend. Right? Yeah? So now you have a diagnosis, right? Then you have feedback about real time beer. Oh, good experience. Very fresh speech. Well, come again. Yeah? The review things coming. Right? So this is the way we call it the data, called data collection. Well, you may have other idea, yeah? And uh, that's good, yeah? For example, uh, supply chain optimization, um, e-commerce, yeah? But without collecting the red, then now the well, e-commerce can be a lot of uh, solution, but they're suffering, yeah? They're quite a big company, e-commerce company. That's work very well. Because I also tried the e-commerce. They charged me, you know, small item, about $6. And uh, so you take a few hours to deliver. You know? So why they go, uh, go to go to their store, right? That's kind of shopping experience. And um, so this kind of way you collect customer information, yeah, the consumer data. Then you give them, you know, which is a good customer. You know, it's called consumption score from 1 to 100, right? For me, probably 100. Yeah, for your little buy, it will be probably 5 or 10, yeah? You buy this kind of customer over the 90, right? I think they should get a special treat, yeah? And uh, then you can segment this one, right? So, with this data, you collect a lot of data, right? And uh, then you are just analysis, you are at night, is there, yeah? Okay, yeah? And you can use a tool called SQL to do query, yeah? And uh, so this query is called structured query language because Walmart is over 100 years old, uh, big company, yeah? They have a lot of data really collect mainly on the supply chain. They have a lot of software called MIS. Who don't MIS? Heard about MIS? Called Management Information System. Yeah? And we'll talk about that. Yeah? Also called Enterprise Software System. Also called CIM. Yeah? <laughs> also called Supply Chain. Many software. So, whatever the software, you don't have to get too much detail on that one. You are not computer science. Use the simple language called Structure Query Language. Select start from database where customer name call Samuel Lee, yeah and see what he has purchased what the list is there and every time you know I purchase spinach <laughs> what other things he bought it he bought bread when you bought bread you want bread butter when you bought butter you have milk they all the correlate yeah religion right similar story like a uh, Typo and the beer, yeah? Then you end like this, right? This is square. This is your 72, which is a 14%. And our second one, basically, how to collect data, yeah? We are doing business analysis because data is a new oil of new economy, yeah? And we, so most of the employers want you to have data analysis skills, yeah? So, how to collect the data, how to, um, this can be aggressively collected data, yeah? And it's called data strategy. So for your assignment one, which is 18%, you will read two articles, one is a hard business review about data strategy, yeah? Data strategy can be aggressive, what's mean, what's other, aggressive, yeah? Or conservative, 
If you want the bank, right, you are very conservative. Particular government, you have mm -hmm. particular visit, home address, credit card, phone number, right? You have to keep it. Keep that very confidential. Never, never, never sell my credit card to somebody else, right? Somebody will purchase in Tokyo. Two thousand dollars, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of enemy, they will know my home address, they will kill me. <laughs> yeah. So this is a combination you mentioned. You have to uh, be very cautious on that, yeah? And um, so that's your assignment one. So you will read these two articles and, uh, and uh, see. Uh, you are selected the company you are going to study. Can be your dream company. You love to work for bank. You love to work for uh, retailer. You love to work for sports. You love to work for healthcare. S select that company. Yeah. Then do recommend some strategy for them. Can be aggressive. Can be conservative. Can be between. Okay. Then every industry must adapt that analysis. Yeah. You study right. For example, retail, right? The leading company retail announced Amazon, Alibaba, right? They know everything about it. <laughs> what do you put there? So every time you bought this one, tomorrow you log in again, they got a recommendation. Yeah? Did you? Yeah? And they know everything about it. And uh, uh, that's also called predictive analysis. Yeah? For example, I love uh, the two kil kilogram peanut butter. Yeah? Crafts, right? Every time before, right, during pandemic, right, I ordered that one and take one or two weeks ship to my home. Forget about it. I just go to the store, pick up the one, right? Now, every time I order that peanut butter, two color peanut butter, right, let me deliver it in the same day. Because I predict I'm going to buy this peanut butter every four weeks. <laughs> yeah? So, predict and not, right? That kind of business, yeah? So, so you basically, so this is a SQL. We are learning the basic skills to imply information. Then our seven three, which is your uh, data visualization. Yeah, when you have the data, well basically, I can ask you, uh, what's the majority of my customer? Is it a young lady or the senior? You don't know. You have to analyze the data because every community has different, you know, consumer. Right? Yeah, you cannot say, oh, this is a lady, this is a man, you know. But easily you can analyze that, that, that. And you can see, do some forecast. Yeah? You ever the demands, you know, Swedish, how much you, you should prepare tomorrow. Make sure it's an old supply or not short supply. Right? And find out the inside, yeah? The type of the beer. Yeah? Swedish related to bread. Yeah? And how to prepare too, right? So that is your. Team project, twenty percent. Okay, eighteen, fourteen, eighteen, twenty. So another twenty with your final exam. You have two options. One you can do in the same team. I give you a case. Give you that set. I give you twenty-four hours. You work on the solution and uh, submit. It. Or you can do individual, which we did the last class. You can do online, and I give you five questions. You just answer it. Like interview, job interview. Because only two hours, you have no time to do actually doing analysis. Yeah, you just answer. It. So you have two options. Twenty percent. 